Hello guys, Mike here and today we're having a look at the Samsung Galaxy S3 Mini, the compact and affordable Android handset from Samsung. Having a quick look at it, you'll notice that it resembles the popular Galaxy S3 and you might think, hey, is this really a more compact version of that heavyweight Android smartphone? Well, yes and no, as you'll find out from this clip. Design-wise, the S3 Mini is a shrinken copy of the Galaxy S3 or even the new Galaxy Note 2. It packs a similar curved chases, uses the same sleek but glossy plastic for the casing and even features a similarly designed home button below the screen. Since it does pack a smaller display though, it's also more compact, but it's however a bit thicker than the other two smartphones mentioned above. On the sides, the S3 Mini sports the usual buttons and connectors, a volume rocker on the left side, a headphone jack on top and a power button on the right easy to press with your thumb. There's a new USB port on the bottom and on the back, the plastic cover is detachable and I expect the S3 Mini to be available in a bunch of different colors to appeal to younger crowds. We do know that it will come in white and pebble blue for sure. Stripping it off, you'll find the easy to remove battery, the SIM slot and a microSD card reader that can take up to 32GB cards placed under the battery. On the front face, the S3 Mini packs a 4-inch screen, that home button that I mentioned before plus the speaker grill a light sensor, a front-facing camera on top and a notification LED. The display uses a Super AMOLED panel but only sports a 800x480 pixel resolution for a pixel density of about 235 pixels per inch which is way below what the Galaxy S3 offers. The brightness and colors are nice though and you'll hardly notice any quality issues with this screen even when reading texts. Remember that the Galaxy S2 offered the same resolution on a 4.3 inch display and nobody complained about that. On the inside, there's a rather slow dual-core 1GHz processor on the Galaxy S3 Mini and 1GB of RAM plus 8 or 16GB of storage. The hardware is definitely not a performer, but it will be able to run your daily apps at ease, especially since the Mini packs Android's latest UI, 4.1 Jelly Bean, with Project Butter and all the other enhancements meant to make the everyday experience smoother and more reliable. Have a look at some benchmark results if you want to know what to expect from the S3 Mini in terms of performances. I'm not going to get in depth here, but the S3 Mini bundles all the known Android apps plus the Samsung developed ones like S Memo, S Planner or S Voice. And you can easily install more from the multitude of good ones available in Google's Play Store. Of course, there's TouchWiz on top of that Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, but that's just the way it is with Samsung phones. During everyday use, the phone will deal fine with browsing, will run videos at ease, will handle games, music and all of the other basic apps and activities. However, when launching more complex apps or quickly switching between tasks, you'll notice the limits of this hardware platform. Making and receiving calls shouldn't be a problem either, but due to the smaller 4-inch display, texting might be a bit annoying since the keys are a lot more cramped than on the bigger screen handsets. The S3 Mini sports a 5MP shooter on the back with flash and basically the same software interface we've seen on other Samsung phones before. Of course, this camera is not going to be as good as the one on the bigger Galaxy S3, but it will do the job, as you can see from the following examples. When it comes to videos though, the camera can only handle 720p shooting and the image stabilization seems a bit off as well.
As for that VGA front facing camera, well, it's definitely not as good as the one on the S3. The 1500 mAh battery inside the S3 mini is rather small, but considering the lower power hardware and the more compact screen, that should easily push the phone through the day even with something to spare. As for the prices, based on the early details we have right now, the S3 mini is going to sell for around 350 to 400 euros in Europe, which is around 150 less than the Galaxy S3. But I do expect it to be quite cheap, even free, when bundled with average priced monthly contracts. As a wrap up, if you're searching for a smaller Galaxy S3 with all the important features intact, this is not going to be the phone for you. However, if you're after a nice looking, fairly snappy mid-range Android smartphone, then the S3 mini is definitely something you should check out. However, if the prices mentioned above stand, I do feel that the S3 mini will have a tough life with the likes of the HTC Desire X or the Sony Xperia U, competitors with pretty much similar features, but significantly lower price tags. With that in mind, it's time to wrap up this clip. I'll also post a quick comparison between this S3 mini and the bigger Galaxy S3 on our channel, so make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss it. And before you go, let me know what do you think about the S3 mini. Is it something you'd buy or are there better alternatives on the market? Please leave your replies below and I'll catch you guys soon. Cheers!